Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the channel. So I was doing something in Photoshop and I figured, why not just do a video? <music> folks, so here I am, I'm in Photoshop. So I was going through the shot. Let's go in and just have a look at it. This is actually a shot of Rua Rose. I was shooting her with a model. As a, I needed a model for a test, basically, and she was kind enough to come in. So I have two massive 600 umbrellas. You can actually see them in her eyes there. And I was just uh, trying out particular lighting to see how it would work. And it was just to get a big flat light uh, and to just kind of emulate daylight to a certain extent. And so I've all I've done with this is I have applied a Visco preset in Lightroom and I have basically done a little bit of um, healing. That's it. And I mean a tiny, tiny bit of healing, almost nothing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come in here. I'm gonna um, intensify the redness of the hair. This is very, very straightforward. Um, so I'm gonna come into adjustment layers. I'm gonna select the curves there. I am going to do nothing to the curve. I'm leaving the curve as it is. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change this to either overlay, it's up to you, or soft light. Okay, either one will intensify. Now in this case, I'm actually gonna go for overlay. So I'm gonna do Command I or Control I with the actual layer mask selected. That will invert it to make it go away. And when, as soon as I see this, I can see that, hmm, maybe, maybe it needs more contrast in the image. What I'm gonna do here is with a brush set to 50% opacity, a shortcut for that is you press five. So if you press any of the keys, like one, two, three, four, etc., that will go into that particular one. If you press it really quickly for two numbers in a row, like 34, it'll come up with 34%. Uh, but if you just press a single digit, it will go to that as a percentage. So I'm gonna go to about 50%. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint. Now, the difference between flow and opacity, by the way, is that uh, opacity will only let you go to the full 50% while you've got a single brush stroke down. So if you brush more than once over an area, it will build it up from there. Flow, on the other hand, uh, you can just flow away with one brush stroke and it will keep adding to that, okay? So I'm just literally painting around the hair. Now, I just have to be careful I don't really get it on the face. It probably won't, more, won't matter as much if I get it out in the white areas because uh, the overlay is not really going to make the white whiter. Um, but however, it is working away on the redness here. So I'm just going to make the brush a little bit smaller using the square bracket keys to come down here a little bit. And yes, this is probably a little bit much, so I'm probably going to go back and pull back the opacity on the layer. There we go. So uh, that's all I'm doing, I'm just literally painting this. Now, in reality, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably spend a bit longer on it than I'm going to do on this, because I'm sure the last thing that you need to be doing is watching me paint on the hair especially when my uh, CPU is going mad and I can hear the fans going in the background because I am recording this at the same time as doing it. It's really funny when I'm not recording it, the fans don't come on at all. Oh, yeah. Okay, now. So I'm actually reasonably happy with that. I'm just trying to get some areas here just Looks like it kind of might be slightly off. And that's really it. So, you, I mean, you've seen the bulk of the lesson. It's just a matter of doing this to get it to where you want it to be. Um, turn on and turn off. You may say, okay, that's way too much. So you just grab the opacity and pull it back. That's about the height of it. So let me pull the opacity the whole way down. So that's not bad. So we have made this significantly more red. Boom. <laughs> Uh, Rua Rose and uh, in Irish the fox is Madra Rua so uh, you know we are making Rua look foxy sorry I couldn't resist that Irish pun kind of thing there you know so there we go now folks you know how to do it it's pretty simple um, I've used this on a lot of my redhead images because it just works you know I don't think there's anything similar to it in Lightroom, um, so I generally do this in Photoshop. Thanks for watching, folks. You know the story. Like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. You've heard it before. You're on YouTube. You've heard it. All right. But uh, do subscribe. See you in the next video.